Look at this beautiful garden. I can imagine you would rather stay outside and enjoy it, like most of the students usually do. But inside, there's plenty to see as well. Like to come and join me? So, where are we exactly? This is the building of the Faculty of Law. Did you know it used to be home to the province of Limburg for decades? There was an entire wing which served as the governor's residence, including a special guest area where the royal family used to stay during visits. Pretty cool, isn't it? But it has been the home to the Faculty of Law for the past 20 years. Enough about the building. Let's talk about law. European Law School in Maastricht is a combination of studying European and international law as well as the legal systems from different EU member states. This is actually quite a special programme. Why? Programme Director Brom Ackermans can tell you more. The European Law School Bachelor programme is a very special bachelor programme in which we teach comparative and European law from day one. So different than other law schools. It is special, one, because we start with comparative law without studying national law first. And that is very different in other places. It is also special because we do everything in English. And so there's no um, requirement to speak Dutch or to know Dutch. Although we appreciate students that have a passive knowledge also of German and of French. Hmm, interesting. So you deal with laws of several countries. Why is this useful? Well, Imagine having to answer questions like if European trade rules are different than the German rules, which law governs the shipment of goods from London to Berlin? Or can the United Kingdom restrict the number of refugees that wish to come to their country after being taken in by Greece or France? To answer those questions, you need to have the right knowledge. Speaking of which, it's nice to have knowledge but maybe even more important is to gain skills that help you put your knowledge to good use, right? During your studies, we train you not only in knowledge of the law, but we also train essential legal skills. What are essential legal skills? Essential legal skills are um, pleading in front of a um, panel of judges or arbitrators, uh, mediation, negotiation, um, research of course, writing, and not only writing of academic papers, but also writing of briefs and memos. But that's not all. To prepare you for the labour market, you're also trained in 21st century skills and the use of new technologies. Can you tell us a bit more, Bram? Besides the regular skills, we also offer specific training in 21st century skills. 21st century skills are really general skills that help you on your way onto the labour market. They are skills, sometimes also referred to as soft skills. Listening, empathy, strategic thinking, analytical skills, and also working with technology. There are many courses in which we try to implement all the technological, let's say, advances um, that exist. We work with Google Glasses, we work with Apple Watches, um, we try to work with virtual reality, and maybe in the near future, also with augmented reality. We really try to give you at Maastricht a state-of-the-art education, both in content, but also in skills. Okay, sounds good. But how exactly do we do this? At Maastricht University, we teach on the basis of problem-based learning. Problem-based learning means that students in small groups are confronted with a concrete problem that they try to solve on the basis of everything that they know already, and, but also, while doing that, realizing what they don't know already. The problem-based learning method foresees in the possibility that you apply what you know, find out what you don't know, then go home, study yourself, and then report back in the groups what you find out in order to solve that concrete problem. Hmm, solve concrete problems, or should I say real-life problems? Because when you live in the Netherlands, there's one problem that's very real and very common. The stolen bicycle. Bicycles, as you know, or will find out soon, very important to Dutch student life. The stolen bicycle case concerns a very simple scenario. You have a bike, or actually you had a bike, and when you come out of the faculty building after one of your problem-based learning groups, the bike is missing, the bike is gone. And a week later, you find the bike with somebody else, somewhere on the streets. What do you do? Can you take the bike back? Or do you have to go to the police? 
do you have to go to court? Um, I don't know. That's a classic case that first year law students always have to answer. So, let me give you one piece of advice, completely for free. Well, for free. If I see you in Maastricht, you can pay me back with a cup of coffee. Watch your bicycle, like a hawk. Guard it with your life and lock it everywhere you go. Anyway, I also asked Petros Corelas why he chose to study European Law School here in Maastricht. The reason I chose Maastricht is that Maastricht deploys problem-based learning and uh, competes in very important moot courts. This gives a great prestige to the university itself and places you in a place that you are proud to work with. Can you picture yourself pleading before the European Court of Justice in a moot court with faculties from all over Europe and the United States? As Petros was saying, students from the Faculty of Law at Maastricht University score high in national and international moot courts, where teams compete against each other in simulated proceedings to present a legal case to an expert jury. Now, what about job opportunities? Where can you work after your studies? The Maastricht European Law School programme is a very exciting study programme and it offers great career opportunities. Many graduates end up working um, for government institutions, for example, the European Parliament, the European Commission, the European Council of Ministers, or they work for the Council of Europe, which is a, a larger European organization uh, uh, established in Strasbourg that protects fundamental rights. Other graduates work in the private sector, not as practicing lawyers, but they work as lawyers advising companies, um, they work as public affairs professionals working on policy, working on, um, with governments, working with non-governmental organizations such as Amnesty International, uh, Greenpeace. I asked Petros the same question. Either you want to work in the private sector as a lawyer or you want to combine all your previous degrees or a new thing that you want to study into the public sector and work maybe in an NGO or an international organization, Maastricht is the chance and the deal. Uh, the university professors also are affiliated directly with international, let's say, committees and it's wonderful to know things from the inside and have people to guide you with practical experience on the issues they teach. By the way, did I mention that Petros is from Greece? There are actually over 68 nationalities in the European Law School and like Brum told you before, the programme is taught entirely in English so you get a truly international experience. Although this international orientation has many advantages, there is one more important consequence Brahm wants to point out to you. When you study law at the European Law School programme at Maastricht University, you do everything in English. And because you study everything in English, you do not comply with the requirements of the Dutch Bar Association. The Dutch Bar Association requires you to do a great number of ECTS credits in Dutch about Dutch law. When you follow the, what we call default European Law School program, you, you follow courses that are completely taught in English, which are always courses in comparative and European law. If you do decide to become a practicing lawyer, there are various options that we can offer you. And we take great pride in advising our students that study here on all the different career options um, that they can take, especially those options that they need to take towards practicing law. If you are amongst one of the best students, you'll be invited to the Maastricht University Law College. This honours programme will run parallel to your studies during your three years as a bachelor student. It will allow you to further develop yourself on both an academic and a personal level and will enable you to fulfil a leading role later on in your career. So, what do you think? Do you want to find answers to interesting European and international law questions? And would you like to become a legal professional? Then I hope to see you in Maastricht. And remember, if I do, you owe me coffee. <laughs>